Hello everyone, how's it going? Hello to all the people that say first and are not first. The actual first person that I see is Noah saying Noom. <laughs> Hello Fate, Jason, Pie Hunter, Logan, Ryan, Little Kitty Crafter, Robbie the Dog, Mr. Crazy Man Games, Checo, you made it. Alright, let's, uh, Mr. Patterson. Dankle! And Scrubbish, what are you doing here, Scrubbish? <laughs> Alright, so today, I don't know if you guys could tell from the thumbnail, but I'm gonna try building a futuristic car. A car from the future. No, 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 this is not a car from the future. This is THE car of the future. It's gonna be that epic. Now, if you can tell by the description, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no plans going into this. I just thought, you know, building a car of the future might be... You know what? Let me load out of this. Uh, I should probably load in with the sci-fi mod. There we go. There's probably some cool parts in there. Is it a fly... Well, I don't know if it's going to be a flying car, actually. I think all I'm going to do is... Uh, okay, so the first idea that I had, which is the first idea I'm going to explore, is I'm going to try and make this car fly everywhere, I guess. Uh, I'm going to use this, this gravity module. And uh, hopefully that will... So what I'm going to do then is like set an altitude. And if the, if the car is like above or below that altitude, it'll actually adjust the gravity of the creation. So it'll just kind of like keep the car at a certain altitude using gravity so it's not going to use thrusters at all yeah and then i'll just have then i'll just have thrusters to you know move around and stuff so i guess uh we're going to build this out of polygons yeah so let's go get all those wedge pieces or curve pieces you know i've been thinking about um when, like, after we're done with the mod pack updates, we're gonna work on the mod pack beta. But then after that, we're gonna work on the mod pack polygons. And, uh, the mod pack polygons might end up, you know, splitting into like three different packs. Which is a little bit of an inconvenience, I get that, but... You know, if we want to add all of the wedge pieces that people are asking for, like, two by three wedge, I think we, we already have that actually somewhere. Yeah, 2x3 wedge, but if we add 2x4, 2x5, like all the different variants that people want, uh, then the mod pack polygons is going to be huge. Uh, and then if we also do that for the curve pieces, then, uh, you know, it's going to be even huger. -er. So I think what we're going to do is end up splitting the mod pack polygons, like, the mod pack polygons is going to be polygonal. So it's going to have the wedge pieces still, it's going to have all this stuff. Uh, and then there's going to be a new one just for curves, I think. Which includes, like, this stuff, too. So curves is going to be, like, its own style, and then polygonal is going to be the very polygonal style. You know, with straight, straight edges and stuff. Anyway. And then we're also going to, like, experiment with, um, you know, potentially scripted polygons. Because, like, it's possible, it's possible to make a polygon like this, like a one-by-one one corner piece like this. But then we could also have it stretch to be one-by-two, one-by-three, one-by-four, and just, like, be all the sizes, but also be the sizes in three dimensions. Uh, but then, you know, the setup for that's a little bit complicated, because, like, you need to use number logic for that, which is inconvenient. But it would give you all the polygon sizes with just one inventory slot. Uh, so that's probably going to be like another experimental mod pack. Ryan says, sorry Durf, but I gotta go to sleep. It's 12 a.m. Oh, sorry dude. Yeah, it's a little bit of a later stream today. Uh, well, mostly because I woke up late because I was up super late yesterday. Anywho, <laughs> on to today's stream. Uh, I think I'm just going to make this with 
polygons. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll just get out a bunch of wedges and we'll start. Which seat am I gonna use? Let's see the futuristic seats. Oh, do I make it a bike? Do I make it like a race car? Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Let's see what other seats that we have. So uh, another main idea that I wanted to take a take a look at was uh, we're gonna use the where is it the smart engine. Here it is. We're gonna use this instead of any other regular engine, and then we're also going to get the challenge mode ball, and we're gonna spin this around for our engine noise. And I'm also gonna have like the ball. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm going to try to have it exposed at the top. Yeah, I think... I think let's go with that... Uh, this sort of like pod racer type seat. Alright. So first things first, lay out uh, some blocks. Uh... Uh... All right, how big is this uh, challenge ball? It's already very big. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be like this, this the middle. This is gonna be the middle of my vehicle. And then I'll work on the top and bottom later. All right, I, I need a bearing. Wow, hello to everyone saying Durf in the chat. <laughs> hello, me, me, Rame, Ramesis? Damien Neo? Combine both. What? Combine both? Uh, Durf, if you do not include a massage function, you should leave your window shut. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> that, that just... I don't know. Hello, Brian. Hello, Elf Dude. Adam. How's it going, guys? Dirk. Ozik, make it a unicycle. Nah, man. Did you already see? I already have a unicycle. It's this guy. Uh, I actually don't know if it's that guy. It must be this guy. No, no, that's not the right one. It's this one. Yeah, he uses math to uh, balance his, himself on one wheel. And the way he works is he has like weights on the front of his face. So the direction that he's looking in, which is tracking the player currently, but the direction he's looking in is going to put some heavy weights in that direction. So he's technically leaning ever so slightly towards that direction. Right, he's got a little bit of a doofy face. But yeah, and then the uh, the wheel on the bottom and all this math in the middle. It All it's doing is just trying to balance the whole thing. So because the weights... Uh, you know, because the weights in the front... The wheel's just going to try to balance in that direction. And that's what ends up making him move. The problem with that though is that... Uh, he doesn't move very fast. Like, the balancing is too good. And then another problem with that is when the balancing uh, when the balancing is, like, past the point of no return, it's not good enough. Let's see if I can show you what that's like. Yeah, see? And then he just gives up. Uh, oops. Oops. Let's get rid of you. This stream's not about you. This is about my futuristic vehicle that's non-existent yet. Okay. Let's um, make this longer in the back just so that I can use my lift. All right, so the main feature of this car is that it has a challenge mode ball. There we go, and that's just gonna spin. 
And then I want that to be exposed on at least the top. I don't know if I'm going to have it exposed on the bottom. So we're going to make... Something like this, I guess, for the front of the car. Oh, how am I going to get those? I could do this, I guess. There we go. Something like that. Derf car needs massage now. I'm not massaging my car. Derf, do you have a Raspberry Pi? I do not. I do not have a Raspberry Pi. All right. Still have no idea what I'm doing with this. Uh, this is too big on the back, though. All right, we are going to need an engine. This is an odd width vehicle. Uh, I hope this seat is odd width. Oh my god, it is. Amazing. Okay, let's uh, put it right up to the front then. Aw, yeah. Okay, and then I probably have plenty of room underneath. Um, now that I think about it... I could even move the seat lower. Probably move the seats lower by one block. Give him her a face. Wait, what? What, what are you talking about? Give him her. F I'm reading like random splotches of chat. I don't. I don't know where this conversation started or where it's going. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're going to see that thing spin. Uh, and this is going to be like the inside dashboard, I guess. So then, let's... Um Let's start filling out the bottom, I think. Oh, it's gonna be... Alright, let's not make it any deeper than that. I still want it to be a relatively thin vehicle. So then we are gonna have a sort of like a exposed ball at the bottom. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. Um, put wedges all inside here. I think that's just gonna complicate my life, though. But we're gonna we're gonna try it. Give the car a face, please. Why am I giving... It's not gonna... It's a f car of the future. Car... I mean... Maybe. I don't know. Maybe in the future they're gonna have, like, cars, cars, like Lightning McQueen. And it's gonna talk. And then you'll feel bad when you crash it into other cars. Alright. I think I need this one. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be the very bottom of my vehicle. And, uh, from here on out, I think I've got things mostly figured out. So 
So then, since I know this is going to be the bottom of my vehicle, let's build out this way. And then we're going to stick the logic for the anti-gravity right on top of that back here and we're also gonna stick the engine that's gonna spin this okay now the issue is I need a WS converter for the seat math block I'm yeah ma let's just get everything everything that I might possibly need. Uh, that's it, right? Don't know if I'm gonna need the orange block. I'm gonna need this probably to set some values. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need this. Do I give it lights in the front? Questions. Questions everywhere. Is it possible for me to make this light up? Maybe. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. All right. So uh, the engine is white for speed, black for power, and that's all I need. Okay, I need a white and a black number. And then I'm also gonna need a math block here and a math block here. This one's gonna be multiplication. This one's gonna be the WS converter. All right, so then I'm gonna multiply the seat input by the white number. Do I Did I get rid of my paint tool? There we go. I You know what, I probably don't even need to set power. I, I will set power though. Yeah, I think we gotta set power to like a low value. And uh, we'll just go with that. All right, so speed. Oh wait, wait, that's, I don't paint that white. I paint, uh, I paint this white, cause that's gonna be the final output. All right, so the black value and the white value goes to the engine very nice now uh, now I need to set these counter blocks to stuff and this is gonna be sort of like um, I don't know j I'm just making it up as I go uh, I don't think if I remove it from my lift if it's gonna be scraping against the ground so I should just be fine like this Let's also turn down the music a little bit. And we're going to turn up the game sound. How loud is that? Very loud. But that's okay. Because um, we're going to... We're going to use that. Oh my god, it's very loud. Hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Let's disconnect the uh, the, the power for now. Uh, we're just gonna get our speed figured out. So if I set a speed of 100 and I press W, that's way too slow. So we'll set a speed of 1,100. That's actually like a good slow speed. So let's set 10, 11,100. I think that's a good max speed, almost. Wow, it's the torque is actually enough to uh, flip the vehicle. Maybe if we do, can we get away with twice as fast? It doesn't really go any faster than that. Okay, so let's uh, bring it back down then, just to get rid of that torque issue. All right, so I think that's good. 
now we need to set a power value that will let us like sort of accelerate and we'll sort of like uh what's the default default power is 10,000 so let's do one tenth of that oh that's too too fast still Wow, this acceleration's too fast. The ball is really light. Uh, let's do just like one by one. This is one power. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not one power. Um, it might be a little slow. I don't know, it sounds pretty cool. We actually don't have the power to go faster than that. That's kind of annoying. I think that's good. I think that might be good. Let's go a little bit more. All right, all right. That's pretty good. So let's get rid of that tick button. We don't need that. Well, we might need it later, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, so that takes care of the engine sound. Uh, now we just need to take care of our floating, our actual floaty, bo floaty boy. Uh, so before anything bad happens, let's save this. Alright. Now, let's do... Uh, this needs just, uh, uh, like a math, a number value to set... That's how it works, right? You set a number value, press E to activate. Yeah, just with a number. All right, so what we're gonna do then for this number is we're gonna take a measurement of the altitude. Where would I put it? Do I actually want the dial to be seen? That's the question. I was kind of hoping to use this for part of the windshield or something. Um, I suppose I could try to fit it there, but then the dashboard's going to be a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be. Unless I remove these blocks and, like, put wedges. That might work. All right, so we'll set this to altitude. Now, uh, now the out. Oh wait, we also need. We also need a counter block. So this is going to be the altitude that I'm setting manually, and that means I also need two buttons. At least for now, I need two buttons. I'll find another way to control the altitude later. Like, as if... Uh, if... Maybe I can control this with, like, a camera. So I'll, I'll point it up to tilt my vehicle up. And then if I press W, it will thrust me forward and add altitude. Maybe that's how I'll do it. But uh, I'll worry about that later. For now, I just need to test my actual anti-gravity... All right, so I'm going to compare these values. We're going to do division. So it's going to be um, actual altitude divided by set altitude. So, no, wait, that's not how I want it. I want it to uh, uh, subtraction. Subtraction, there we go. So if I subtract the actual altitude from the set altitude... Say, say I set my altitude to 5, and my actual altitude is 
four, then the output would be one, a positive number. No, I want it to be a negative number. If I'm under my set altitude, I want it to be a negative number. So I'm gonna do this, this one, minus the actual altitude, this one. Okay, and then we'll just feed that right into here. And we'll use these to set my altitude. Let me turn down the uh, the game sound again. We'll turn up the music. All right, hello, Omer. Yeah, I remember you. I, I remember you from last stream. Jaden says use Topot heads to make a stupid noise when it crashes. <laughs> uh, Ace Got Skills asks Durf, "What's with Luop?" I don't know, man. He showed up on one of my past streams, and that's the last I ever saw of him. I ever saw of him. He said, um, he said that he was thinking about getting back into YouTube, but I'm not sure if he has like computer issues or something. I have no idea. And anybody asking about Moonbow 2, again, I have no idea. I don't think anybody has any idea. He's a big boy, he can make his own decisions. Alright, so that will set my altitude. Let's, um, let's also get, like, a little display. Display block. Block? Block. Get a display block right here. Okay, so this will be my set altitude indicator. And this is just gonna display. Uh, it's not gonna display very much, actually. So let's do three or four. There we go. Okay, instead of this, actually, I'm gonna use regular... Well, let's let's leave it at tick buttons for now, but I'll probably switch that over to regular buttons so that uh, it'll be more of a smoother transition. Okay, and the actual anti-gravity, I think, is gonna be powered by entering into the seat. So we'll just use a math block for that. Here. There we go. So when the seat is seated, oh wait, that's um, that's a number value. We need a regular logic gate then. Yeah. So instead of giving this like a number one, we just wanted to give it the the value like turn on, and that's what a regular logic gate does. Okay. So when I'm sitting, uh, uh, hopefully this doesn't break anything. When I'm sitting, it turns on. There we go. Did I actually connect that to the, uh, I did. Why isn't it turning on? Oh, oh, it's probably because the value is like zero. Or negative number but like a very low negative number so it's trying to push me to the ground a little bit oh no wait it's probably because I'm on my left all right well let's actually save it okay this is gonna break everything oh, oh. <laughs> please come back I think the anti-gravity is a little bit too strong. Is he gonna come back? Oh, it's coming back, okay, okay. I almost lost it there. All right. <laughs> so I need to make that 
way less strong. Or I'm doing things wrong. Um, I'm I might be doing things very wrong. Let's uh let's get a number readout of what my actual um gravity value is. I think. All right, so we're gonna do uh, just the ones place, and then we're gonna get. Oops, these are wrong digits. And we're gonna get triple digits, triple decimal digits, to see what this value is. And if it's above one, then we got problems. It shouldn't be super strong like that. So instead, what I'm actually gonna do is not not get that readout. I'm gonna try dividing this by like a hundred or a thousand. And we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, because like the difference between our current altitude and our set altitude could be a hundred or even a thousand. So uh, think about like a thousand times gravity. That's way too much. So we're gonna divide that by a thousand. This divided by this, and this is a thousand. Okay, so now I can get my number readout from the actual gravity that I'm setting. All right, and in case of emergency, I just leave my... Oh, it's already trying to set it to 0 0.003. What if I raise my altitude? Two, one. Oh, that's right, it's going in reverse because this... All right, we gotta switch the... Uh... You know, I thought I was doing it right the first time. There we go. So now it should be a positive zero. Wait. That doesn't make sense. No, I had it right. I had it right. I think I did. I'm, I'm, I'm getting myself confused. Okay, so if my set altitude is 5, what's my actual altitude? Oh my god, I need more number readouts. Alright, temporarily we're going to put one right here. And second digit, third digit. Wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> I did that very wrong. You're the first digit. You're the third digit. Okay, so our al actual altitude's three. Our set altitude's five. We want this to be a negative number, so we go up. So then, yeah, I do want this to be white. And I do want this to be black. There we go. And then, if we go... The, the higher we set our altitude, the more powerful this anti-gravity is going to be. All right, so let's get into it and see how this works. But before we do that, we're going to save it yet again, because I don't want to lose this thing. We're not even getting into, like, the, you know, how to actually fly this thing. We're, we're just trying to make it float. All right, future car... What are we on? V3? This car will be a V6 or a V8 before you even know it. All right, let's do this. All right, so dividing it by a thousand might have been too... 
might have been too, uh, I don't know. Not, not, not powerful enough. Yeah, it is definitely not powerful enough, but I'm kind of scared to change it, so let's get out. <laughs> Don't get out of your vehicle while in the air. That's that's the lesson that I just learned. Alright, so let's set this then to a new multiplier, I guess. Instead of... Um, instead of a thousand. Let's do one, two, three, four, five... Five? Five hundred? Six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're dividing by... Two hundred, I think. So it's two hundred times the power. Or two hundred times less the power. So we're gonna go to altitude eighteen. See, now this is nice and controllable. But it's also kinda slow still. But, you know, for uh, a flat world like this, it's, I guess, okay. Yeah, and then the, f the, the closer we actually get to our target, the weaker it's going to get. We're not actually reaching our target. Please answer Durf. What? What did you, you ask? Oh, hello, Flowing Ferret 3. Hey Durf, can you make a Golf GTI MK1 next stream? I don't even know what that is, dude. Alright, so we're just general in the general vicinity of our set altitude, but I think uh, I think 200 is still too low, so let's go down to 100 maybe? Uh, let's actually set these buttons to our seat, so then we can play around with uh, setting altitude. Alright, so if I set my altitude down to or up I guess to 42 yeah we shot past it a little bit but we have a positive gravity value now so we're gonna go back down to it it's actually really smooth and we'll just sort of like go up and down yeah we're never actually on zero gravity, although we are now, I guess. We're really close to zero gravity, because we're really close to 42 altitude. But if we sit it back down, we'll go down to uh, maybe six. See how close to the ground we can get. Because keep in mind, this is relative to the position of the actual altitude meter, which is already four blocks high on, on the uh, on the car so we're gonna get two blocks above the ground here maybe one block above the ground can we go even lower oh that's very low very very low oh okay we just hit the ground <laughs> we're not supposed to be on altitude three but All right, I might actually set like a minimum altitude value. I don't know for if it, it depends like do you want to Do you want to fly this in the canyon? I don't know. I'll just give the player full control of where they go Durf do you have a VR headset? I do not I do not because I built this computer back in the day when uh, VR was like a, a super new thing so I it was cheaper for me to get a video card that didn't support VR, and I got like the best model that didn't support VR. It, you know, funny enough, the very next model of video card supports VR. It's, uh, I have a GTX uh, 960 in my computer right now. Which is, you know, it's doing the job perfectly fine, but a GTX 970 would be able to support VR. Makes no sense. Uh, Durf, now it shouldn't matter how much weaker it is, it won't fly off. What? 
I could probably make it a little bit stronger. I'm thinking, uh... One, two, three, four, five. So now we're on 50 times less power. So then let's uh, go to a, a nice high altitude. Yeah, it's pretty much able to keep up with me pressing the tick button. Didn't oscillate too much. That's actually really nice. And, and I didn't even have to use a, uh, a PID function to stabilize this. Alright, so one thing that I will have to deal... Oh, I went to a negative value by mistake. One thing that I will have to deal with, though, is... Oh, we're a half block off the ground, because the, this altitude meter counts at a half block. I see. Anyway, uh, one thing that I will have to take into account for is when this spinning ball is actually spinning, it's going to try and rotate this whole thing. So what I could do to offset that is stick a... I don't know how heavy these things are. How heavy is the ball? Um, we're going to build a thing to measure the weight of the ball. Uh, I should probably build it on my lift, right? Alright, and then we'll stick a bearing here. And we'll just go the whole length of my building blocks... And then the whole length of my building blocks here, minus one. Alright, now we're going to get the ultra heavy block. Because I'm pretty sure the ball, that was not where I wanted you to be. I'm pretty sure the ball is pretty heavy. So it might be like two, three ultra heavies. I don't know. We'll start with two and see. Yeah, the ball is very heavy. Three, four. My plans to... Uh, okay, so now I'm a little bit heavier on this side. What is my hard drive doing? I have an external hard drive that's just... It's scrap mechanic that's doing stuff to my hard drive. I don't know what... All right, we're gonna try switching out one of these blocks for... There we go. I could, uh, you know what, I could attach one of these things, uh, one of the modes for the exometer, I think, is like a, a mass meter. I can't find it now. Well, I have it in my inventory anyway. The problem is, it's also going to count the mass of the exometer and whatever else I attach to it to actually get the reading. We'll just try this. The ball is ever so slightly, ever so slightly heavier. So we'll put on another heavy block. Okay, that looks really even, actually. Yeah, even after all those updates. I mean, the ball is like... It's less than a degree, I'm pretty sure. I can't even tell. Okay, so I think I got the exact weight of the ball. I think. It's kind of hard to, you know, exactly pinpoint this because the distance from the actual attachment point 
might be a little bit of an issue. Like, for example, if I attach the heavy block first, then the super heavy, then the three ultra heavies, that would make this side heavier just because the heavy side is... Ah, uh, I gotta find a new way to get the weight of the ball. Yeah, I want to use two spinning balls, but I don't want my vehicle to be that huge. Like, I don't have all the room in the world for that. So... I just want, uh, I, I want to put a spinning weight on a bearing. Spinning the other direction, just to, uh, just to counteract this one. I'm, this might not even be an issue, to be honest. Because, like, when you get in it... And then you go forward. It pulls forward. Which could be corrected by whatever method I use to actually, uh, change the orientation of this thing. Which, you know, might need reaction wheels anyway. Like, uh, like back when I built, uh, what was it? Which one? It, yeah, it'll have to be this one. Um, okay, 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 okay. Oh, that's the laser. There we go. That's the anti-gravity. Okay, I need my seat. Thank you very much. There we go. So yeah, this thing uses reaction wheels to orient itself based on where you're pointing. So I, I was hoping to do something like this. And then uh, you can just fly around. This is how satellites move in space. It's... It's, um, pretty reliable, except for when it's not. Anybody that's, uh, been keeping up with the International Space Station issues, there's a limit on how much reaction wheels can help. Which is, you know, basically how much mass of, uh, how, how much weight the reaction wheels are relative to the actual station itself. Because, like, once they get spinning to a maximum speed, you can't spin them any faster. And that's just a problem with, uh... Oh, 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 oh no. And that's just a problem with our, like, current technology. We don't have engines that can spin at infinity speeds. Anyway, I'm gonna try something else. We're gonna get... Uh, we're gonna get the ball here. Off the lift. Um, let's, uh, use a hammer, I guess? We're gonna move it. Just a little bit. Okay, that was a lot. But I just want to find where I can put the block. There it is. This entire side I can put blocks. Okay. So we're gonna put... Uh, here. An exometer. And... We're also gonna grab a wireless router. Here, it, here we go. Why are you doing this, Durf? I question the point of this. Um, I'm, I'm, why? Why am I building a futuristic car? Because, because cars are awesome and future is awesome. All right, so there's a sending router, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna stick our receiver here, and we're gonna get the reading of how massive the ball is. From, uh, from this. So then th this way I don't have to attach number blocks to this, adding to the weight. Oh, okay, there we go. I just passed it. Mass. Connect that to the router. Connect this router to these blocks. Alright, so the total mass of the ball is 517.18 probably some more too
All right, so that's uh, enough decimal places, I think. Okay, so now what I have to do is um, get... We're going to get rid of this. Uh, wait, 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 wait. We're going to leave this. We're going to build another one. Am I going to build another one? Yes. I have to. You're going to be receiving on the blue channel and we're gonna make some numbers match so then the idea is that I'm just gonna build a mass of blocks until these numbers match which uh, it's gonna be like very difficult to do because the sphere is actually calculating the volume of the sphere, I'm pretty sure, for mass. So matching it with blocks is not going to be entirely possible. What is he making? I'm making this future car right here. This thing. And it makes a cool noise when you accelerate. So right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to offset the uh, reaction wheel effect of the spinning ball by making another weight that I'm going to put in the back somewhere. I don't know exactly where. Okay. So, here, where's my weights? I got rid of them. So I, I hope I need at least three of these. Uh, then we're going to get the router sending router. We're going to get that to the color blue. And... Oh, that's right. I forgot to color these. Okay, and then we're going to get the mass reading of this. And send that to the blue router. And there we go. Now we can uh, build on this until we get the exact mass. It doesn't have to be balanced, at least not yet. 513... That's too much. Five hundred and seventeen. That's a slight slightly too much. What was that though? That was a light block. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that means I'm gonna need like hundreds of these. No. Okay, so if it's 513 right now and I add like one, two, oh wait, that's the light stuff. I need the ultralight. One, two, three, four ultralights. It's still 513. Yeah, this is a problem. I think I'm just going to go with, um, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll uh, switch out the super heavy with just a regular heavy. And then I'll use a bunch more lights. 509 517 5781 I don't think I can get I don't think I can escape it Yeah, it's the, the exact same number. All right, so then these are the blocks that I need. How do I build this in a symmetrical way? Because this vehicle is odd width, so I, I want to have the bearing. The bearing's either going to be like right, right here, 
or right on there. So I can build the weight three wide or one wide, but I also need to make it balanced vertically. So the three ultra heavies is not a problem, but then these are a problem. Can I do... I haven't tried medium blocks, but how many of these do I need? 513. 533. Okay, so this is still possible to make symmetrical. That's too much. So three in the center, then four, that's one on each side of the center. So I can add another four. 537. No, this is not good. So let's take away two. 521. Take away another two. We'll add light blocks. 513. Add two. 521, dang it. Okay, so this is the... I, I might be able to build something symmetrical out of this. So I have three ultra heavies. I gotta get this here. Four medium blocks. So we'll do one in the bottom. Got three ultra heavies. Do my four medium blocks. There you go, that's perfectly symmetrical. And then I have three light blocks. What am I gonna do about that? You just make a three by three cross derf. What? I, I I don't know what three by three cross means. Hey Durf just joined. Uh, been engraving all day. How's it going? It's it's going good, Julian. Going good. I mean, stressful, but it's going good. I'm building a futuristic car here, where it's gonna use anti gravity to position itself to a certain altitude, and then later I want to make it like orient itself to where your camera's pointing. Uh, but the main idea was that I wanted to use this challenge mode ball as the engine sound, and a cool ball spinning effect in the front. And right now I'm just trying to offset the uh, the reaction wheel effect here by building another weight that's equal to, uh, to the ball's weight. Alright, so three... You know, maybe I don't need... Maybe I don't need the... Um, Let's go back to this uh, drawing board, as it were, over here. We're going to take out an Ultra Heavy, and we're going to start putting some Super Heavy. So I have two, two Ultra Heavy, four, let's get rid of the light for now. Okay, four. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Now, if this just needs three light blocks, then we're good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I found out how to do it. We're good to go. Okay, so the center block is going to be a light block. And we need... Um... There we go. So then we'll do four like this. We'll stick the ultra heavies like this. And now we just need four uh, medium blocks. So that's easy enough, we can just do this. And then this is a little bit annoying, but it's okay. We'll just stick. If I, uh, if I get rid of these two blocks like this, can I use... 
Can I use uh, mini pipes? Questions. Questions that the universe can answer. 515. No, oh, they're too light. Are the other... Oh, that's because they're lightweight. Well, yeah, I needed lightweight stuff. Are these... They're medium weight. The polygons should have a lightweight cylinder. By 15, all of a sudden, I'm... I'm messing around with stuff I shouldn't. Alright, let's just go with this, then. I'm gonna have to hide this somewhere in here. Which is a bit of a pain in the butt. I didn't want to build my vehicle too long. And, you know, it's, it's really my fault, because I could hide all of this logic under the seat. All right, time to rebuild it. <laughs> time to rebuild it. So what are we at? V4, each car, V4. Okay. So now let's get rid of the seat. Uh, first, let me just take a look and see like what I for sure need. These um, speed and power values, that's... I definitely want to keep those. Um, setting the altitude is not super important. Alright. So we'll get rid of the seat. We're gonna open this up. And now we're going to just open the rest of it up. Alright, that was uh, easy enough. Get that well tool out. Bam! Just saved myself a ton of space. Um, this multiplier, well, uh, I'm gonna keep that, but yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine where it is. Let's stick the seat back on top. And connect it all up again. Alright, so the seat... I gotta see... <laughs> I gotta see what I did. So the seat connects to the two lighter blue blocks over here. Lighter blue connection dots, I mean. Okay. Uh, and the buttons that are no longer existing. Uh, the engine goes to the bearing for the ball, obviously. Okay. Oh, and that's also going to power another bearing in the back here. So let's uh, start building that right away. Not sure how far I want to build it. Just one block of space, but... Yeah, so that's where I need it to be. Get rid of that. We're going to stick a bearing here. Stick a block on it. And weld it. There we go. Now let's paint this. Just all black. Okay, so now we want this engine spinning this bearing that direction. Very nice. Is there any other connections that I need? 
Uh, I think I think we're good. The rest is just sort of like a readout. Okay, so I do want to connect some buttons then. We're gonna connect some regular old buttons. Regular buttons. Where are the regular buttons? Regular buttons. And they're gonna go into the, yeah, the, the counter right in the corner here. Okay. Okay, that should be everything that I need, I think. All right, so let's save this as Future Car V5. Let's hop in, uh, and actually let's set an altitude. Oh, you know what? I didn't... I didn't connect the readout. Okay, there we go. 16 blocks. We hop in, we float up to way above 16. Why are we still going up? No, 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 let's get out. Something's wrong. Something is not right. Um, oh, it's the altitude meter. Okay, the altitude meter needs to be connected to the thing just before the logic gate. Here. Okay, and then this one gives us our actual gravity readout. Okay. 16 blocks. Yeah, there we go. So now when I press W... Uh... <laughs> Alright, it's a little shaky. <laughs> Who was it that was asking for a massage seat? Ah, oh, it's weird. It's like the the blocks are not quite as balanced as the ball is. So it's it's pretty shaky because of those corners. If it was just a straight line of blocks, it probably would work. Yeah, we're we're losing a bit of control there. I mean, it's not a super big issue that it's shaking a little bit. That's kind of cool. But uh yeah, if I could get rid of this issue. I don't want to make it too long, though. What I could do is... Which ones are these? These are the heavy blocks. What I could do is do like this. One, two... Um... three, four. And then we'll get rid of these corners. And then, um, <clears throat> I think uh, these, these are these super heavy. We can put those like so, one, two, Three, four. So that moves the center of mass, or like the, yeah, it moves the, well, the center of mass is always the center of mass, but like the mass is closer to the center. Because they're not in, uh, it's like closer by about, you know, 0. 0.6 of a block. All right, so let's try this one. And then I think I'm gonna move on to trying to make this thing actually look like a futuristic car. There you go. 
Uh, it's still going forward a little bit. Oh, you know what the issue might be? Yeah, whether I go forward or reverse, the entire thing is just tipping forward. So I think I already have... Uh, I, I think I already have the reaction wheel thing solved. What I don't have solved is the actual weight of the vehicle itself. So I also need to make it balanced entirely. Wow, did that actually fix it? <laughs> that actually fixed it. Adam Dalberg says, Durf, can I have a shout-out before I leave? Don't leave! Bram Foppen says, Durf, I just sunscribed. Well, how do you how do you scribe a sun? Durf, use another ball. That's not actually the issue. I mean, using another ball is, you know, the apparent solution, but I wanted to hide this. Whoops. I wanted to hide all of this. Ah, oh, that's gonna be colliding, isn't it? I don't think those will collide. But just in case they do... Where is it? I really need to, like, uh, color code some of these parts. I can never find the polygons quickly. Or I just need to reorder them, because, like, what is this doing in the middle of surface panel stuff? But I'll worry about that probably in March or some other month. Okay. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted. I wanted that to be covered up so nobody gets to see it. Alright. Now the problem though is I also need... I'm, I'm probably gonna have to stick some logic on top of this. I also want to have... Um, I guess I'll have thrusters in the front and the back. Oh, I also need to build an underside for that. Ah, uh, that's cutting it really close. Um, I mean, I should be able to just put wedges here. No, that's not going to work. Could I maybe use... Oh, you know what I could just do? I could just use surface panels. Yeah, these should work. I hope. I really hope they do. Or you know what? I don't even need to worry about this. If I just put surface panels... ...on the underside, like this. Um, there we go. Hopefully that won't collide. <laughs> uh, it, it most definitely might. 
Oh my god, it's there. It's totally gonna collide. I can't put those there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. And then I'll, I'll probably put some surface panels under the ball as well. Just to sort of cover things up. Okay, let's try and work uh, towards making this thing actually look a little bit better first. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get rid of some of these displays. Because those numbers, nah. -uh. This is just measuring our actual altitude, which we don't actually need. Yeah, we just need to know our set altitude. All right, so what do we got in terms of windshield parts? This is another parts that I kind of wanted to um, update in the mod pack. We'll probably... MJM made like a bunch of windshield stuff, like enough to make its own mod pack. Um, but he hasn't actually done anything with them yet, so I'm probably just gonna, you know, say, hey, do you wanna expand the windshield stuff in the mod pack? And then we'll just, like, get rid of all these gear pieces, because nobody's really using those anymore. Anyway. Windshield. It's been a long time since I've built with windshield parts. Also, don't know if we have the part.
weird. That song just sort of ended up abruptly. Okay. So then how am I going to do the front of this car? Like, the bottom here is still mostly undecided. Oh, so sharp in the front? I don't know about that. No, I don't know about that at all. Let's get rid of these. Let's put the 1x6. Okay. So we actually have plenty of room in the front, too, for, like, more logic, which we're going to need at some point. All right, now these sides and corners, I'm not sure... Not sure what I'm going to do about that. I'm not even sure if I like this, to be honest. Let's finish up, uh, I mean, I like the shallow windshield, but I, let's see what it looks like a little bit taller, I think. I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. So let's uh, let's cut off that top layer again. All right, and then we'll get the walls. Um, do I still have that? Uh... There we go. This wedge piece. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> that view is very... Vi like, you have to crouch just to see under that. At least the first person's not, not that great. But, you know, most people would be driving this in third person anyway. Not sure how I feel about any of this. Let's just maybe leave it uh, open on the top. All right, let's get a lot of polygons. Lots of polygons. We're gonna need probably some of this stuff. Probably some of this stuff.
All right, so I'm gonna go like build this car Maybe as if it had some wheel wells in the front Because like I don't know that that will look good to people who you know drive cars, but uh Oh, you know what? I can't actually do that here. I need to put those blocks back. No, I just don't have the option to do that. Yeah, not happening. What's chat talking about? PewDiePie or T-Series? Well, what a silly question you guys are asking. It's 11.23 where I live and I need to sleep, so good night, everyone. See you later, Nicholas Papanetis. Papanestis. Uh, if you guys want to check out... Uh, like, if you have to sleep, go to sleep. But uh, this stream will be up... Probably tomorrow or the next day, the the video footage of it. Darif, I've only just turned on in this live stream. Why do you have a ball in the middle of your vehicle? Oh, that's because it makes futuristic noises. Let me turn down the music a little bit again. We'll turn up the game sound. And then you guys can hear what uh, what this sounds like. And we'll also get a chance to see if I messed up the balance of this vehicle. So it'll automatically float to any altitude that I set it to. And then if I accelerate, it'll start spinning the ball. And make some cool noises. Oh, had a little bit of a collision there. Not sure what happened. Oh, that's weird. The blocks, like, accelerate faster than the ball does. Yeah, and then we can, uh, you know, set our altitude manually. But I think, uh, I think I'm also going to change that in the future a little bit uh, to be, like, sort of camera controlled. So the car will try to point to where your camera's pointing. And then uh, if you press W while your camera's pointing up, you're going to get more altitude. And if your camera's pointing down and you press W, you're going to lose altitude. Get nice and low. Nice and low. Alright, but we'll just uh we'll just keep it at uh comfortable value of fourteen for now. Alright, back to building the actual like body of this thing. You know what? Maybe instead of Maybe instead of the uh the nose, like the center being so pointy. Maybe we'll have two points coming out of the sides. Hold on a second, I just, uh... No, I, I thought I had a sneeze coming, but I... It did, you know, it got shy and ran away. Alright, so we're gonna try... Doing sort of like a, a shallower... Nose cone. And then we'll have like two things coming off the sides. Not sure how that's going to work exactly. Maybe you can even have the front of the ball exposed as well. Let's turn up that music again.
Okay. Um, I need, yeah, if I'm going to do two things on the sides, I want them to be relatively long. What is this? One by four? I think that's good. So we'll do something. I guess like this? No, that's gotta be... Up on the top, I think. Game sound's still very loud, I forgot about that. Jeez, if this is any indication of me knowing what I'm doing, then I definitely don't know what I'm doing. Let's, um, let's not do this. We might actually, you know, I can always just replace these wedges. Not a big deal. Okay, but I'm going to find a way to keep the front exposed a little bit. And then we're going to build things that come out from here and here. These are going to be the center of those things, I think. So then if I use... One by six, one by eight. Let's see which sizes I'm, uh, I am I like out of these. 1x8 might be a little bit too long. 1x6, we'll go with that. Okay, so now underneath this, then I use the other ones. This is the 1x6, yes. I don't know how to place this. Um, let's have let's have that wedge back in place so I can build off of it. Building with polygons, man. It's it's a lot of fun, but you kind of got to be like really good at it. As you can tell, I'm not. Okay, I think that's actually good. Sort of what I wanted. Sort of. Yeah, this is the last block space that I have. Um... Well, my plan was to do something like this. Except in the middle, we'll use a smaller wedge. Yeah, but uh, clearly, I just don't know what I'm doing. Not a clue. So, let's uh, undo this. We're undoing it all. Now, what I need to do instead is... Put... We're gonna get rid of that, actually. We're gonna put... Oh, oh, I, I see now. I see the error of my ways. I think I need that. And then that will let me put the... Uh, what was it? This... This one. Here. Okay. And then I put the other one.
There we go. That's covering it up a little bit more the way that I want. Um, two, three, four, six. This one. Yes, okay. Okay. Do you like cats, Durf? I have four cats in my house. I, I, it's a long story on how I got all of them, but <laughs> it's I have four now. Durf, do you think one day uh, I didn't get to read that message? Something about a mirror, like mirror flipping mode? I think uh, Brent Batch advanced blueprint tool can do something like that. I don't know if, uh, like it's, it's obviously not gonna work with um, all the parts. Because, like, not all parts have a, a left and right version. Like, you can't mirror flip a seat, for example. Alright, and then under here I just need... That is not what I need. That looks like, like a huge gap. Not sure if I'm building this right. Well, that's obviously wrong. Um... There we go. What do you know? The gap is filled. Okay. I do again, don't know if this is actually what I want. But anyway, let's get the... Where's my regular wedge pieces? There we go. Let's get those in here. Alright. That's looking pretty, pretty swank. We might actually just, um, raise this up. Up to here. You know, building things out of polygons, like I, I mentioned it before, how you just gotta know what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing like I am, I think that looks a little bit better. But if you don't know what you're doing like I am, it takes forever to build the shape. Like I made no progress and it's been 20 minutes. Also because I've been like, does this look good? Does this look good? Nah. Which also like, you know, it puts into perspective how much work somebody like Moonbow puts into all of his uh, creations. Because he plays with polygons a lot. Or maybe he just knows what he's doing and doesn't doesn't waste time like I do. Oh, buttons are there. Well, that's no good. Figure that out later.
don't know if this is a good idea. Like, I could just close it up like this. I think... I think closing it up like that gives me more room on the outside for the design. Not sure. So I'm gonna have like a bulge where the ball is and a bulge where this thing is naturally on the bottom. But the top doesn't have to look that way. Uh, welcome to Duroff's channel where he can take 15 minutes for complicated logic but takes 45 minutes thinking about how to make it look like how he doesn't want it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know. What do you want from me? Perfection? All the time? Every day? Alright, now let's start making this thing go down again. I think, uh, yeah, this will work perfectly for the bulge with the ball. So we can probably, I don't know. No, let's just go with this. We're gonna go just with this. You know, actually I'm gonna do one on each side differently. And then we can compare. So on this side, uh, we're gonna use more blocks. Not these blocks, actually. We're gonna use the, um... This guy. And then we could optionally use another one of these guys. And then use the, uh the regular wedge underneath that. And that will make just a sort of like a big shape like this. I might go with that. gonna finish on each side and then see how it looks from there um, and then in here we need the this which one is it this guy I you know now that I built it I'm not sure how I like it <laughs> Oh, hey, Spexy. I can make things look good, but it would take me a lifetime to figure out what kind of logic Durf and Con are capable of. Uh, I mean... I don't know. I, for me, like, when Con does the logic with just the regular logic, it's confusing to me, and I don't understand how he does it. These logic blocks. I don't know how he builds things with that. I don't know how anybody uses these. Uh, but for me, I have, like, experience in programming. So for me, the math blocks and all the functions in it, I can't even find them now. Yeah, but for me, this stuff and all this number logic, like, it makes total sense to me. Alright. And I still have to worry about uh, the actual, like, steering and thrust logic later. But that's okay. That's easy stuff. Can you try to make a car with no mods? Ah, uh, let's see. Car with no mods. This counts, right? Oh, no, wait. It has a mod seat on top. It doesn't count.
I am slowly losing my place in the world. I gotta turn back. All right. Do you like waffles? I Waffles are tasty. Tasty things are tasty. Okay, well, let's see what I'm going to do with this side, then. If it's going to look any better. You know what? We probably don't... Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Let's get, uh... Uh, then it's like too tall for the body. No, no, no. We're going to do the same thing that we did on the other side, but also slightly differently. And instead of... Yeah, instead of adding the wedge piece there, uh, we're going to make it slightly shallower. So this is going to be the bottom. And then for that, we just need a another one of those... One of the, another one of these pieces. But like this. And that's that, I think. All right, so now I just need to compare which side I like better and what I'm going to do with the bottom for each. I think this left side is what I'm going to be going with. Yeah, because then on this right side, I either have to keep a flat bottom or make a bottom that's even more bottom than this bottom. <laughs> oh my god, my English speaking ability is starting to leave me. Um, but then this is like a 4x4 four four thing. What am I going to do with that? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Make it come down to a, a, a sharper point. We'll just use the one by twos. That's looking all right. something else for this section where is my polygon there it is or I just need to do this corner differently There we go. And then in here, I could probably just put... Uh, those grill pieces. Are they in the mod pack or the polygons? I don't know anymore. I think they're in the polygons. No, I can't tell. I can't actually tell. I think that's mod pack. I don't know. 
done with windshield parts. We'll use those. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe we'll put lights in the center. I don't know. Durf, do you like Disturbed? Oh, like the like the music band? Uh, I think music is like... It's a fad. You know, you'll like a certain kind of music for a certain kind of age or depending on which generation you're from it's not something to get too hung up over I think you know if you like it you like it and uh, then there's also some people that you know they're very strict about what music they like like they will only listen to the music that they like and nothing else and everything else is terrible to them um, but then there are other people which I would say I'm probably a part of, that uh, will appreciate all all genres of music, which tends to like make some people angry because they're just like, that's not answering the question of what's your favorite music. But like, every genre of music, every type of music, there's good and bad examples of that music. So it's not really, you know, the question, what's your favorite type or genre, it's not really an appropriate question to ask because like, you know, some people will say music is bad just because it's not their favorite genre, but that doesn't, that's not what makes bad music bad, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. That's sort of turning out to how I wanted it to be. Alright, we'll worry about the front a little bit later. <laughs> I think, um... Oh man, this is d just, like, destroying my brain. I might have to come back to this later. You know, having said that about the, the whole music thing though, um, it's like, there's also a, a good time to use certain kinds of music. Like, music, in general, is made with a certain imagery in mind. So if you pick something like Disturbed, uh, generally speaking, it's kind of what angsty teenagers like to listen to. <laughs> but that's only because of how they want to feel and how it makes them feel. And, you know, there's a, there's a time and a place to use different kinds of music. Like, for example, if, uh, if you want to play, like, classical music, generally speaking, when do you listen to classical music? It's when there's, like, um, a very posh scene in a movie, or you're, like, at a gala or something, where people are trying to be fancy like people were in the olden days. So, you know, in general, it's just, um, it, you know, yeah, there's a time and a place for it. If you're too young, you, you, these these things are probably just like not gonna matter to you, because like you're still in the the time of your life where you just want to go after certain uh, feelings when you listen to music. You want to feel a certain way. Personally, I went through a phase of listening to nothing but what's called chip tune music. It's where uh, music is made using like electronics, um, so it sounds like the video game noises and things that you'd see in an arcade. And I thought that was pretty cool. But, you know, that gets old pretty quick, too. Alright, what am I doing with any of this? I think, um... 
Can I do... I mean, I can do whatever I want, but can I... Maybe get... I wanted to worry about this front part a little bit later. Let's, um... I don't have very much time left, so I think let's try and work towards getting the logic and propulsion for actually orienting my vehicle. And then we'll worry about that. We'll worry about finishing this probably another stream, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, but then uh, I gotta go get... Uh, I did... I took a long break from uh, challenge mode, but I finally recorded an episode of that. So I gotta go edit that video, and that will probably be tomorrow as well, if not Tuesday. Hey, Not Red, how's it going? Who else thinks Durf should play Terratech? I don't know if I even have the game Terratech. Durf. T-Punk. <laughs> Chiptune is very rich music. Uh, I mean, I, like, again, it depends on, you know, the example that you're using. It could be rich. It could also be terrible. Alright, so right at the ball, we're gonna, like, sort of bulge at words. Just by one block. Nothing uh, nothing too drastic here. I should be able to attach detach these safely. Okay. So if I need to, I have this like extra space to hide some logic. All right, and then we're just gonna put some wedges right here. And here, it's definitely not a small car. For a one-seater, it's definitely not small. <laughs> but this is like, I don't know, sort of, I mean, I could put like passenger seats in the back here, I suppose, or on the sides maybe. But I, I wanna keep it still a little bit thin. This is like, trying to model it after, I guess, what a pod racer would be, or um, what, like, the cars that you'd see in F-Zero, I guess, is what I'm going for. Actually, can I use the 1x2 versions of those? I think I'm using this piece wrong. Oh, wait, I had it. There we go. Yes! That'll make my bulge more appealing. <laughs> don't, uh, don't clip that audio, please. Okay, I did, you know, sometimes you say things and you don't realize what you're saying. You know, I'm sure some of you don't even realize what I just said. So I, me pointing it out was a mistake. Moving on, new topic. Whoa, uh, the, uh, mounds. I'm going to start talking about mounds instead of bulges. There we go. That's <laughs> totally better. All right, so we could probably get rid of these. Uh, so that I can, uh. Wait, is that even what I want? Yes. Yes, that is what I want. Is that what I want, though? I don't even know anymore.
I mean, it sort of looks cool. But then what was I planning on doing over here? I don't have this polygon. At least not yet, I don't. I don't know what I was planning to do here. We'll take apart this side. We'll add those blocks back in. That is definitely not what I wanted to do. So we'll do this one. No, I, I, I just can't get it to rotate the way that I wanted it to. How does this look from the front? I think we'll just put another wedge here and call it a day. I'm definitely, like, overthinking this way too much. But I want it to look cool! Yeah, see, now this windshield piece is not even doing anything. I could just, like, run it all the way to this point. But then that just looks silly. That looks less silly. Also, I just got rid of that windshield piece that I kind of need now. Hey, Durf, would you like to listen to my, uh, remix? Wait, would you like to listen to my remix of Lost Woods from Zelda Ocarina of Time? Where can I send you a link of the track? Uh, I mean, you can share whatever you want in my Discord. There's a channel for promoting yourself. Man, I have no idea. I, I think... Like, I'm not sure if this is better. Maybe if I switch these around, things might happen. Things might, like, magically happen. Oh, but I can't. I can't switch them around. Because then the front doesn't match. So my only option is to have a square here. Like this. I don't think it really matters which one I go with. The visibility from the inside doesn't really change. Is there any chance that I can, like, cover that up, maybe? Nope. Nope, I need to build way taller mounds to cover that up. No, nah, this is fine. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> There's so many times 
I've said that so many times on this stream. Just in case you guys didn't realize, I have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, so then from here, we're gonna go back inwards. Um, one block in from each side. Okay, then we're gonna go back inwards very sharply. Oh, I thought that was on my lift for some reason. Sitting here, pressing my arrow keys, thinking like, why isn't it going up? And we're gonna have another sort of mound in the back area. Probably not as big of a mound. But I have a lot of room for logic. All right, all right. So for serious now, let's actually just save this. What are we on? V6? V5? Oh, okay, we're on V5, so let's go to V6. Just spamming my lift with variations of this thing. Okay, so now we have V6 saved. Let's make an attempt at some of this logic before I have to go uh, edit that video. And by go edit that video, I mean go get something to eat. I have not eaten today. Okay, orientation block. We might need a couple of these. Not sure if having it upside down like that's really going to be a, a big issue. I mean, it shouldn't. If it is a big issue, I can just like invert the controls for vertical. Okay, so that's going to want to point our vehicle where our camera's pointing. And then we're also going to want another one pointing towards the world. So we're. So it's gonna sort of mimic that, uh, this reaction wheel flyer that I had. Where, where was it? Was it this one? It was this one. Yeah, so the way that this works is it has a camera block and uh, orientation, uh, like for the world, it's pointing down. So the camera block is uh, spinning the sides for up and down pitch. And it's spinning the, the top and the bottom for the direction. And then the world orientation block is spinning the ones on the front and the back to, to like, the roll of the vehicle. And that's what's, uh... That's what's keeping this thing upright. If I, like, if I spin this way, it's not that big of a deal. If I roll upwards, it's not that big of a deal. But if I try turning while I'm angled up like this then, you know, naturally you would flip upside down, but that's what the, the world orient block is doing. So this is what I want my car to do. Yeah, so you don't flip upside down. I'm not gonna do it with the reaction wheels though. Okay. So that means I need some math blocks. I somehow got rid of those. And we're also going to need probably, um, I don't know which one it's going to be. We're gonna need another one for the world block. So we'll just start with uh, the roll, I think. All right, so these two get the signal from the camera orient. This gets the signal from the world orient. So we're gonna need pitch and yaw for this one. I guess we're gonna try 
I mean, this vehicle is already pretty heavy, so I could probably get away with just using these tiny... Tiny thrusters, wherever they are. These ones. The one thing that I actually really want is... Uh, a thruster that doesn't actually use particles. I think this one might be one of those thrusters. Let me test that out real quick. Over here. That is not how I want you to be. It has a thruster flame. Damn it. Okay, well... I just need to find a thruster flame. Or, I guess I'll probably... Make one at some point. A, a thruster that doesn't use flame. I've gotten requests for that too. Yeah, even the gimbal thrusters have it. Pretty sure even these side thrusters have it. Well then, we'll have to uh, deal with that later. Oh, I, I've not been paying attention. Uh, left hand seat, left hand side from driver's seat looks better. Uh, yeah, I mean it looks more complete, but I guess like a paint job might do just the same. I don't know. So it's got to be bulgier derf. Oh my gosh. Uh, the windshield makes more sense without the mound. It does. I could just make it a side mound. Hold on. So this, this was the bad side. Let's remove this. And then we'll just add blocks here. You know what? That looks so much nicer. Alright, no more... I wonder... No, I can't get away with putting a, like a 2 by one wedge in here. Or any wedge for that matter. Oh, what do you know? I can. Okay. So then can I also put it here? Ooh. Okay, so then over here I need the... Uh, this one. Right? I mean, I can't actually fit anything else in there at this point. Then I come back to the same problem of... Shoot. I could replace this one with one with a corner. But that's not exactly what I want. Dang it, Spexy, you <laughs> distracted me from... Okay. Okay. Well, that just looks silly. Um... No, don't worry about it, Spexy. I mean, I'm glad that you pointed some of this stuff out. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't be closer to this awesome design. All right, well, let's try the um, the corner wedge, I guess. We'll see how that goes. I think it's this one. I could make it even larger. So then over here, we're going to need the uh, just the regular wedge. Like that. And then it's then it can go down from here. Uh, it makes those mounds like very wide. You know, it's all right. It's not terrible. It's all right, though. Oh, hey, Brent Batch. Okay. Yeah, so that'll let me put some better wedges in here to get the ball nice and snug. All right, and then uh, we'll keep that nice and flat. There we go. Okay. a block here and here just because um, and then we'll close this up You know what I could do is use like uh, a size of wedge smaller on the inside. Because these are three wide each. So if I use a slightly smaller wedge uh, it's gonna look a little bit weird in the front, but you know what? It might actually look good. We're gonna try something. We're getting wild. I don't have the one by four. So if I do this instead, it'll be like Still like it's open, more open in the in the middle. And then this will be brought right up in the middle. There we go. I think that's gonna look a little bit better. That means we also need the one by four version of everything else. 
Um, where is it? Where is it? My eyes, my eyes don't work anymore. I'm looking at polygons for too long. That, yeah, that's the one by four of that one, but I want the other one. Oh, here, there's vertical, okay. Uh, that's the wrong way. That's this side. Okay, then just the regular 1x4 wedge right in the middle. Okay, and especially if I paint it a different color, it'll still look good. And then maybe I'll also shrink the outside a little bit too. Or not. I don't know, I'm just, uh, I'm winging it. Winging it. Don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know why this is all open. Okay, and then I could put, um, you know what? I have extra room here. <clears throat> so maybe I'll just use the one by three wedges here instead. Then I also need the 1x3 um, corner pieces as well. I am so disorganized with my inventory. Okay, no, no, th this is how I had it before. With like a little grill in the center. All right, that's not bad. Gotta paint the the car red, of course. Do you guys know that like red cars get pulled over more often, especially like if it's a red sports car, it'll get pulled over more often than a blue sports car? Because red makes you drive aggressively. I think it's also the reason why a lot of like race cars happen to be red as well. Okay. I mean, that's good enough for a paint job for now. There's obviously more that I could be doing. Oh, I didn't add the bottom to this side. That's okay. 
See you later, Spexy. A hey, uh, if Brent Batch is in the chat, uh, you can see what I'm doing here with this um, anti-gravity stuff. Yeah. All right, so now let's make it, um, I guess let's actually, you know, stop getting distracted and work on the, uh, uh, the orientation. And by that, I mean, let's finish up these bulges. <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, I'll probably have to just finish this tomorrow. So I'll do like a little part one, part two. Yeah. Gosh dang it. I wish I had never called these bulges. Fantastic. What are you what are you insinuating there? Okay, that's painted the whole way through. I can't, I can't get it because of the lift. Don't, don't you stop music. There we go. Um, I might have to move that, uh, that orient block. Now that I'm looking at it. Might have to move that. I mean, I could fit them inside the bulges easily. Or put it right in front of the other one. Okay. I guess let's finish the uh, the bottom of this one before I forget it, because I I kind of need this to be done. Uh, that is the what is it one by six wedge piece. There we go. There, just like that. We'll paint that up. All right, all right. I'm also gonna extend the stick out a little bit. There we go. So now I can work on it entirely, like attached to the, it's off of the lift. Uh, we're gonna save this as Future car V7. We're already on V7. Durf, can you remake the ball so it has traction rather than sliding everywhere? Um, maybe. Maybe. We'll probably... I don't know. I, I want to finish the updates that we have lined up for the mod pack. Hopefully by the end of January, and then after that, I'm going to work on the Scrap Mechanic Mods website, because a lot of people are asking for that to actually work. It's mostly the people that don't buy Scrap Mechanic.
and you know they have to download mods offline. Not offline, but like, uh, you know what I mean. To install them manually. Can I actually detach this? I think I can. And this... Cannot. Then what's the point of detaching these blocks? Yeah, no, I, I need this here too. Alright, so let's get uh, the 1x2 right here, I think. No, it's this one. There we go. And then we're going to use the 1x2, uh, the 31. There we go. Like that. Yes. Um, we also need... I think I got rid of it. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Need to put that there. And this here. And then we'll fill this with just regular wedge pieces. And then inside these bulges, I can actually put, like, thrusters or something. I don't know how to use my inventory. There we go. Durf, can you make an explosive ball mod? I, you know, maybe I'm gonna make a video where I just make all of your terrible suggestions. <laughs> just all the ones that, but you know, because I get like hundreds and hundreds of suggestions and like not all of them are good. I'm not saying an explosive ball mod is going to be bad. But like, we, um, we actually have explosive balls uh, planned for the mod pack beta. Uh, they're actually like a classic bomb shape, you know, like, a, like the bombs in the cartoon. So they're just like a black ball with a fuse on top. So we wanted to make those, and if you light them on fire with the fire physics, the fuse will actually light. Or, or we'll probably also make them detonate, just like the TNT does. Possibly, also, after a random number of hammer hits. I'm not sure. Just to make them a little bit unpredictable. But yeah, there's a lot that goes into, like, you know, what actually is an explosive ball. Like, if you just want a, a round propane tank, um, you sort of already have that. Okay. Durf, my computer won't let me download your mod pack. It's not the computer that's stopping you. It's First of all, do you have Scrap Mechanic on Steam or not on Steam? That's the first question you gotta answer. You know, before we can figure out what's going on with that. Cause 
You have it on Steam? Okay, well then, uh... Are you able to download other mods, or, like, all mods just don't download for you? Because, like, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure your issue is that you're just having trouble downloading from the workshop. Which is not your computer being unable to do it. It's your Steam. All right, so we can get like super thin under there. But before we do any of that, I guess we'll probably stick uh, some thrusters in there. I'm not sure, I'm not, I have no idea what I'm doing. None. We really need a thruster that doesn't have any particles. How did you not get painted? Okay, let's start with the, um, the camera orient first. I am definitely going to need some bulges in the back here. For sure. Alright, so let's try, um... We'll try with the, like, the regular small thruster. Where is it? I can never find it. I can never find it. Here it is. You know, I probably don't need that much. We'll just do, uh... One on the top. One on the bottom. On each side. I don't know how I'm gonna do this on this side. Maybe I won't. Maybe I just won't do it on that side. So you pitch your vehicle by moving the back up and down. We'll just do that then. And the, um, I guess we'll do the turning in the same way. So then what I actually need is a couple of uh, negatives, I guess. This doesn't really work with um, like regular thrusters. I'm gonna need a, a smart thruster block that doesn't have uh, particles. I can take a number input so I can customize the power. But we'll see how this goes. All right, so positive, uh, positive camera orientation is gonna pitch the vehicle down. Negative is gonna pitch it up. Wait, yeah, no, 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 I, I got it right. I just said things wrong. Um, let's see, to the right is the negative. So if I want to look to the right, I want the back to swing this way. There we go. All right, now let's lower the power of these like all the way down. Uh, you know what? I kind of don't want this to... Uh, I I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. The thrusters shouldn't be firing, though, while I'm not sitting in the car. So let's go up, 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 up.
yeah, the, the turning is not very effective at all. I got it to, like, pitch my car correctly just once. I also think my front is still too heavy. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So. Let's crank up the power, I guess, a little bit more. It'd be so much nicer if these thrusters could just take in uh, number inputs. Okay, so we can... We can sort of orient our vehicle where we want. It's going to oscillate way too much, though. That stick is not proper. And then we also, like, lose power if we try to keep turning and turning. Durf, can you make an explosive thruster? Like an unstable thruster? Maybe. I mean, yes, I can, but would I? I don't know. Explode the thruster from overheating. That's not a bad idea. See, it's this shaking that I don't like. So what I actually want is a smart thruster. These thrusters are just not gonna do. They're not gonna do. And also, you know what? Let me uh, let me do this before I remove all the thrusters. Also, what we're gonna do is we're going to. Um, I have a seated block somewhere. It's number one right here. So this, if this is on, then we multiply math block here. Uh. Okay, so I'm not going to actually need these anymore. So then let's use this for multiplication. And then we multiply by this. Yes. So only when I'm seated... Does the, uh... Do the thrusters actually fire. And we'll disconnect... We, we don't have thrusters anymore. 